Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Bill. We're in the Ultimate Magic Book today. We're continuing the character archetype uh, class builds. Uh, we are on the final class build in the book, and then we will pick up a different book next time and start the classes in the order they are listed. So we are on the wizard. Looks like the wizard has optional rules on schools for elemental schools. But the actual archetype class we're going to be looking at today is Scroll Master. So without further ado, let's dive into the Scroll Master and find out what you gain, what you lose, and what all the, the interesting bits of the uh, class archetype is. Uh, to some wizards, a scroll is not just a written form of spell. It is a physical weapon meant to be used in combat like a sword or a shield. These strange wizards enter battle armed with scrolls, one after one, ah, often one in each of the hands, practicing combat techniques resembling some monk martial arts. Scroll blade. A scroll master can wield any paper, parchment, or cloth scroll as if it were a melee weapon. In the hands of a wizard, the scroll acts as a short sword, with an enchantment bonus equal to half the level of the highest level wizard spell on the scroll. A scroll with only a cantrip or first level spell on it counts as a masterwork short sword. The scroll master is proficient in this weapon and feats and abilities that affect short swords, such as weapon focus, apply to this weapon. A scroll master cannot wield two scroll blades at the same time. Activating this ability is a free action. A scroll blade only retains its abilities in the hands of the scroll master. The scroll blade has hardness of zero and hit points equal to the highest level wizard spell on the scroll. Each successful hit by the scroll blade reduces its hit points by one. This damage cannot be repaired, but does not affect casting from the scroll. When it hits, hit points reaches zero, the scroll is destroyed. If a scroll contains a spell with a meta magic feat, this ability uses the original spell level of the spell. So a scroll of empowered fireball counts only as a third level spell. At third level, when using a fourth level or higher wizard scroll as a scroll blade, the scroll master can choose to reduce its enchantment bonus by one, minimum plus one, to treat it as a reach weapon. For example, he can use the Scroll of Charm Monster, a fourth level wizard spell, as either plus two short sword or a plus one short sword with reach. At fifth level, when using a fourth level or a higher wizard scroll as a scroll blade, the scroll master can choose to reduce the enchantment bonus to a minimum of plus one to give any of the following weapon properties De defending, frost, icy burst, keen. Key focus, shock, shocking burst, speed. Any of these prerequisites consume an amount of enchantment bonus equal to the property's cost. See the melee special abilities in the core rulebook. The scroll master must know the prerequisite spell or spells to craft the weapon property in question. For example, he must know haste to be able to give his scroll blade the speed property. This ability replaces the wizard's arcane bond. Scroll shield. A scroll master can wield any paper, parchment, or cloth scroll as if it were a light wooden shield. In the hands of a wizard, the scroll gains a plus one shield bonus with an enhancement bonus equal to half the level of the highest level wizard spell on the scroll. A scroll with only a cantrip or a first level spell counts as a masterwork light shield sword. Light shield sword? Okay. Uh, the scroll shield has no armor check penalty, arcane spell failure chance, or maximum dexterity bonus. The scroll master is considered proficient in this shield. A scroll master can use a scroll blade in one hand and a scroll shield in the other. Activating this ability is a free action. A scroll shield only retains its ability in the hands of the scroll master. The scroll shield has a hardness of zero and hit points equal to the highest level wizard spell on the scroll. Each successful attack roll against the wizard reduces the scroll shield's hit points by one. This damage cannot be repaired, but does not affect the casting from the scroll. When the hit points reach zero, the scroll is destroyed. At fifth level, when using a third level or higher wizard scroll as a scroll shield, the scroll master can choose to reduce the enhancement bonus 
to a minimum of plus one to give it any of the following shield properties, ghost touch, light fortification, moderate fortification. Adding any of the properties consumes an amount of bonus equal to the property's cost. The scroll master must know the prerequisite spell or spells to craft the shield properly in question. For example, must know limited wish to be able to give the scroll shield the fortification property. If a scroll contains a spell with a metamagic feat, this ability uses the original spell uh, level of the spell. So a third level fireball, even though it's an empowered fireball. Improved scroll casting. At 10th level, the scroll master can cast a wizard spell from the scroll and use his own intelligence score and relevant feats to set the DC for the spell. And can use his own caster level if it's higher than that of the scroll. Similar to that as casting it from a staff. The scroll master must have already deciphered the writing on the scroll to use this ability. This ability replaces the 10th level wizard bonus feat. And that's everything the scroll master gets. So it's a cool concept. You turn a scroll into a, uh, a sword and you can turn one into a shield. So, and then you can also just cast from the scrolls. And then once you finally reach 10th level, you can now cast all the scrolls that you have at your caster level instead of what they were made at, which is also pretty cool. So, I could see me creating a wizard that does this, and if nothing else, creating a very entertaining NPC that does this. What are your thoughts on the scroll master archetype? And have you seen one played in a game? Put any and all that in the comments below. Until we all game again, guys.